Have you ever wondered about the role of Adam and Eve's daughters in the history of humanity? While the Bible mentions the most famous sons, such as Cain, Abel and Seth, the daughters also had a profound impact on the expansion of the human race. But why is so little said about them? Today we will explore the importance of these women in creation and the silent legacy they left for future generations. In the beginning, when the world was still young and full of mysteries, a story emerged that would echo through the millennia. The narrative of Adam and Eve, the first human beings created by God, according to Abrahamic traditions, laid the foundations for understanding the origin of humanity. This story, filled with symbolism and deep meaning, has not only shaped the faith of billions of people, but has also profoundly influenced culture, art and literature over the centuries. Adam, whose name in Hebrew means humanity, is presented as the first man created by God. Formed from the dust of the earth and animated by the divine breath, Adam symbolizes the intrinsic connection between the human and the divine, between the earthly and the heavenly. His creation described in the book of Genesis places him as the progenitor of the entire human race, a role of immense importance and responsibility. The historical context in which the narrative of Adam and Eve develops is that of the Garden of Eden, a primordial paradise where humanity lived in harmony with nature and in direct communion with God. This idyllic setting, although difficult to locate geographically, is often associated with the Mesopotamia region, the cradle of ancient civilizations. Do you feel insecure, alone and worried about the future as you age? Don't feel that way anymore because I've made my digital book, Aging with Faith. 20 lessons to overcome challenges and live with purpose in Christ, available for you to download right now in the first pinned comment. This book will help you find peace, purpose and hope in Christ, no matter the challenges you face. Click on the first pinned comment, as we have only a few copies available, and it will be taken down soon. Click now and grab your digital book. Archaeologists and historians have searched for centuries for evidence that could corroborate or shed light on this biblical narrative. Although the historical existence of Adam and Eve is the subject of debate among scholars, the cultural and religious importance of these characters is undeniable. Some archaeological discoveries in the Middle East region have revealed artifacts and inscriptions that reference similar creation myths, suggesting a shared cultural tradition about the origins of humanity. For example, the discovery of Sumerian cuneiform tablets, such as the Epic of Gilgamesh, presents interesting parallels with the Bee. The biblical account places Adam and Eve at the beginning of human history, in a period that precedes the development of agriculture and the first civilizations. This era, known as the Paleolithic or Old Stone Age, is characterized by a nomadic way of life based on hunting and gathering. Although there is no direct archaeological evidence for Adam and Eve, studies of early hominids and the development of the human species offer fascinating insights into our earliest origins. The narrative of Adam and Eve is not limited only to their creation, but extends to their expulsion from the Garden of Eden and the consequences of their actions for all humanity. This event, known as the Fall, is central to Judeo-Christian theology, explaining the origin of sin and the need for redemption. The expulsion from paradise marks the beginning of the human journey on earth, with all its difficulties and challenges. Adam's importance in the biblical narrative is reinforced by his long. According to the Genesis account, Adam lived for 930 years, an age that far exceeds current human life expectancy. This longevity, common among biblical patriarchs, has been the subject of many interpretations, from attempts to reconcile it with modern science to more symbolic readings that see in these numbers a representation of the importance and influence of these characters. Ultimately, the story of Adam and Eve serves as a prologue to the entire subsequent biblical narrative. It establishes fundamental themes that permeate the scriptures, the relationship between God and humanity, free will, the consequences of human choices, and the promise of redemption. As seminal characters, Adam and Eve are not only the physical progenitors of humanity, but also the initiators of a spiritual and moral journey that continues to resonate in human consciousness to this day. The creation of Eve and the role of women in creation. In the biblical account of creation, the formation of Eve marks a crucial moment in the narrative, 
After creating Adam, God realizes that it is not good for man to be alone, so he decides to create a helper who is suitable for him. This divine act not only completes human creation, but also establishes the complementarity between man and woman as a fundamental part of the divine plan. The creation of Eve from Adam's rib is rich in symbolism. Unlike Adam, formed from the dust of the earth, Eve is created from a living being, emphasizing the intimate connection and essential equality between man and woman. The biblical text suggests that Eve was not taken from Adam's head to dominate him, nor from his feet to be trampled on, but from his side to be his equal and companion. The name Eve, which means living or source of life, highlights the primordial role of women in the perpetuation of the human species. This denomination, given by Adam after the fall, recognizes the potential of women as the bearer of life, a capacity that directly aligns with the divine command to be fruitful and multiply. Fertility and procreation assume a central place in the divine plan for humanity. God's command to fill the earth is not only an instruction for physical reproduction, but also a blessing and a responsibility. Through this commandment, Adam and Eve are invested as co-creators with God, actively participating in the expansion and development of the human race. The role of women in creation goes beyond mere biological reproduction. Eve, as the first woman, is presented as an equal partner with Adam, sharing the responsibility of tending the Garden of Eden and exercising dominion. This partnership establishes a model of complementarity and cooperation between the sexes that transcends reproductive functions. The narrative of Eve's creation also lays the foundation for the concept of marriage in the Judeo-Christian tradition. The declaration that a man will leave his father and mother and unite with his wife, the two becoming one flesh, establishes the conjugal union as a divine institution, fundamental to the social and spiritual structure of humanity. Despite the fundamental equality between Adam and Eve, the biblical account also introduces nuances into their roles. The description of Eve as Adam's helper has been the subject of diverse interpretations throughout history, from views that emphasize the subordination of women to perspectives that highlight the interdependence and complementarity between the sexes. Ultimately, Eve's creation and her role in the biblical narrative establish a paradigm that would profoundly influence conception. Eve's story, with its complexities and varied interpretations, continues to be a crucial reference point in discussions about the role of women in society and spirituality. The Sons and Daughters of Adam and Eve More than Cain and Abel The story of Adam and Eve does not end with their expulsion from the Garden of Eden. On the contrary, this event marks the beginning of a new phase in their lives, characterized by the fulfillment of the divine command to multiply and fill the earth. Although Cain and Abel are the best-known children of the first couple, the biblical text makes it clear that they had many other descendants. Genesis chapter 5 verse 4 explicitly states that the days of Adam after he begat Seth were 800 years, and he begat sons and daughters. This passage is crucial to understanding the expansion of the human family beyond the most prominent characters mentioned in the first pages of Genesis. It opens the possibility for numerous and diverse descendants, laying the foundations for the settlement of the earth. The specific mention of daughters, although brief, is significant in a text that generally focuses on the male lineage. This suggests that the daughters of Adam and Eve, although unnamed, played a key role in the propagation E. Their existence resolves the apparent paradox of how humanity could multiply from a single couple. The importance of lineage in the biblical narrative cannot be underestimated. Genealogies, which may seem like mere lists of names to the modern reader, were crucial for establishing historical continuity and legitimizing claims to inheritance and authority in the ancient world. The lineage that originates from Adam and Eve through Seth is particularly significant, as it is through it that the DV, the fact that Adam and Eve had many sons and daughters, also serves to illustrate the diversity of the human family since its origins. This multiplicity of descendants entails a variety of physical characteristics, temperaments and abilities, laying the foundation for the rich cultural and ethnic diversity that characterizes humanity. 
the narrative of Adam and Eve's sons and daughters also raises intriguing questions about early human relationships. With a limited initial population, the biblical text implies that marriages between siblings and close relatives were necessary in the early stages of human history. This question has been the subject of much theological and ethical debate over the centuries. Other than Cain, Abel and Seth, the Bible does not provide names or details about the other sons and daughters of Adam and Eve. This gap in the narrative has been filled by various traditions and legends throughout history. Some Jewish and Islamic traditions, for example, elaborate stories about these unnamed descendants, assigning them important roles in the development of the first human societies. Ultimately, the story of the sons and daughters of Adam and Eve serves as a reminder of the fundamental unity of the human race. Regardless of the differences that have developed over the millennia, the biblical narrative presents all of humanity as descendants of a single couple. This idea of a common origin has profound implications for understanding human equality and fraternity in many religious and philosophical traditions. Life in Eden and the Expulsion Impact on the Daughters The rising sun illuminated the entrance to the cave where Adam and Eve had found shelter after their expulsion from the Garden of Eden. The hard, cold floor contrasted cruelly with the softness and comfort they had known. Eve, pregnant with her first child, felt labor pains approaching, a direct consequence of the divine curse. The contractions intensified and Eva screamed in pain, something she had never experienced in paradise. Adam, helpless, watched his companion suffer, feeling the weight of guilt for having disobeyed God. Hours passed until finally a baby's cry echoed through the cave. It was Cain, the firstborn, born into a fallen world. In the years that followed, Eve gave birth to Abel and later Severa. Each birth was a painful reminder of divine punishment, but also a moment of joy for the new life that arrived. The girls grew up in a hostile environment, very different from the Eden that their parents regretted losing. Hard work became an integral part of the family's life. The daughters of Adam and Eve learned from an early age to cultivate the land, care for animals, and make clothes from fur. The innocence of Eden had been replaced by an awareness of good and evil, and young women grew up with the knowledge of the original sin that had shaped their existence. The primitive society that was formed was centered on family and survival. Adam and Eve's daughters played crucial roles, helping with daily tasks and preparing to become wives and mothers. The family dynamics were complex, with Cain and Abel competing for the attention of their parents and sisters, seeking their place in this new reality. As they grew up, the daughters witnessed changes in the world around them. Weeds sprouted between harvests, animals became more aggressive, and the seasons brought unpredictable challenges. They learned to adapt, developing survival skills that would be passed on to future generations. Original sin had brought not only physical pain, but also emoti. The daughters of Adam and Eve struggled with inherited feelings of guilt, questioning their place in a world that seemed to reject them. They sought to understand the nature of God and the reason for their parents' punishment. Despite the difficulties, there were moments of beauty and discovery. The young women marveled at the sunrise, the variety of plants and animals, and the mysteries of creation. These moments of wonder at God's work served as reminders of divine goodness, even in a world marked by sin. Marriages and procreation in the first generation. The wind blew gently over the plains where Adam and Eve's family had settled. The eldest daughters, now young women, watched their brothers Cain and Abel with a mixture of curiosity and apprehension. They knew that the time would soon come when they would have to get married, but their options were limited to their own brothers. Adam brought the family together to discuss the future. In a deep voice, he explained the need for marriages between brothers to guarantee the continuity of the human species. Eva, with tears in her eyes, hugged her daughters, aware of the burden they would carry. The young women listened in silence, understanding their crucial role in the survival of humanity. The first wedding was celebrated with a mixture of joy and apprehension. The bride, trembling slightly, joined her chosen brother under the watchful eyes of the entire family. Adam led a simple ceremony, 
blessing the Union and asking God to guide them in this new chapter of their lives. In the months that followed, other sisters married, each accepting their fate with a combination of resignation. A Unions were based not only on the need for procreation, but also on the compatibility and affection that had developed over years of close coexistence. Married life brought new challenges and responsibilities. Young wives learned to balance their roles as companions, mothers and workers. Pregnancies followed and the community grew quickly. Each birth was celebrated as a miracle, a testament to divine blessing despite difficult circumstances. As the first generation of children was born, mothers faced the challenge of raising a new generation without the benefits of Eden. They imparted practical knowledge about farming, weaving and childcare, but they also struggled to explain concepts like sin and redemption to young innocent minds. The role of Adam and Eve's daughters as wives and mothers was instrumental in shaping the nascent culture. They established traditions, created strong family bonds, and laid the foundation for future G. Their resilience and adaptability were crucial to humanity's survival and flourishing in a post-Eden world. Over time, the practice of sibling marriages was gradually abandoned as the population grew and diversified. The descendants of Adam and Eve's daughters carried with them the legacy of their ancestors, honoring their courage and sacrifice in facing the unknown for the love of family and the continuity of the human species. The transmission of faith and the relationship with God. Twilight painted the sky with shades of orange and pink as Ava gathered her grandchildren around the campfire. In a soft voice, she began to tell the story of creation, the Garden of Eden and the Fall. The children's eyes sparkled with fascination, taking in every word about the God they had grown to love but had never seen. The daughters of Adam and Eve, now mothers, watched the scene with a mix of nostalgia and determination. They had grown up hearing these same stories and now had a responsibility to pass them on. Faith in God, although tested by the difficulties of life outside Eden, remained a central force in their lives. Adam, aged by years of hard work, still led the family in times of prayer and reflection. He taught his children and grandchildren about the importance of maintaining a close relationship with the Creator, even if they could no longer see or hear Him directly as He and Eve had experienced in the garden. Daughters played a crucial role in transmitting the faith. In their daily routines, they incorporated spiritual teachings, showing children how to see God's hand in the beauty of nature the abundant harvest, and even the difficulties they faced. They taught their children to pray, seek divine guidance, and live with integrity. The relationship with God has evolved over generations. What began as a painful memory of the loss of paradise turned into a resilient and hopeful faith. The daughters of Adam and Eve and their descendants learned to find comfort and strength in their belief, even in the face of adversity. The transmission of spiritual values has become an integral part of children's education. Stories of faith, courage, and redemption were told and retold, creating a rich tapestry of oral tradition that would be passed down from generation to generation. These narratives not only preserved family history, but also provided a moral guide for life in an imperfect world. As the community grew, challenges to faith arose. Some people questioned the existence of a God who allowed suffering while others strayed to worship other gods or forces of nature. The daughters of Adam and Eve and their descendants often found themselves on the front lines, defending their faith and seeking to bring back those who had gone astray. Yet, through all the trials and doubts, the flame of faith continued to burn. The women of Adam and Eve's lineage kept the promise of redemption alive, awaiting the day when the separation between God and humanity would finally be healed. His unwavering devotion and commitment to passing on the faith laid the foundation for future generations of believers, shaping the course of humanity's spiritual history. And don't forget to grab your digital book, Aging with Faith. 20 Lessons to Overcome Challenges and Live with Purpose in Christ It's very important that you get it right now before the copies run out. The Contribution to the Expansion of Humanity the rising sun cast its first rays over the primitive earth, illuminating a scene that would be repeated countless times over the following millennia. A young woman, daughter of Eve, was giving birth to her firstborn, her cries of pain echoing through the rocky caverns they now called home. 
This moment marked not only the birth of a child, but the beginning of a new era for humanity. The daughters of Adam and Eve, whose names were lost in the mists of time, carried in their wombs the future of the human race. Each pregnancy, each birth, was an act of courage and hope, an affirmation of life in a world that was still wild and unknown. Their bodies, forged in the divine image, became the sacred vessels through which humanity would multiply. As the seasons passed, the first communities began to form around these procreative women. Family ties grew closer, and tribes grew. The eldest daughters took care of their younger brothers, learning the arts of motherhood and creation from an early age. This knowledge, passed from mother to daughter, became as valuable as hunting and gathering skills. As generations followed one another, the human population grew exponentially. Each new life carried with it not only the promise of continuity, but also of innovation. The genetic diversity provided by the mixture of different lineages resulted in a more resilient and adaptable species. Ava's daughters, in their innate wisdom, understood the importance of seeking partners beyond their immediate circles, promoting cultural and genetic exchanges that would strengthen humanity as a whole. The role of women in the expansion of humanity went beyond mere reproduction. They were the guardians of knowledge, the storytellers who kept alive the memory of Eden and the Eli. His teachings shaped the minds and hearts of generations to come, laying the foundation for the development of the first organized societies. With each new generation, the accumulated skills and knowledge expanded. Daughters learned from their mothers and grandmothers, and in turn passed this knowledge on, enriched by their own experiences. This transfer of knowledge, as vital as the act of giving birth itself, has allowed humanity to not only survive but thrive in an often hostile world. The expansion of humanity brought with it new challenges. As groups grew, the need for more complex social organization arose. Eve's daughters, with their innate ability to nurture and unite, played a crucial role in the formation of the first social structures. Their voices, although not always recorded by history, were fundamental in making decisions that would affect the future of their communities. Thus, through the centuries, the daughters of Adam and Eve fulfilled their vital role in the E. Their bodies were the vessels through which life flowed, their minds the repositories of ancient wisdom, and their hearts the center around which the first societies formed. His legacy, although often unrecognized, is etched into the very DNA of the human race, a silent testament to his invaluable contribution to human history. The Legacy of the Daughters of Adam and Eve The legacy of the Daughters of Adam and Eve, although often obscured by the shadows of time, remains a golden thread that runs through the fabric of human history. Their lives, marked by the duality between the memory of lost Eden and the promises of an uncertain future, laid the foundations on which human civilization would be built. In every gesture of care, in every word of wisdom transmitted, the primordial daughters left their indelible mark. His teachings, passed from mother to daughter, from grandmother to granddaughter, formed the basis of human knowledge. They were the first teachers, the first healers, the first to understand the cycles of nature and the importance of community. The propagation of the human lineage, a task in which Eve's daughters played a central role, was not limited to numerical multiplication all. With each new generation, core values were passed down and refined. Compassion, love, resilience, qualities that define the best of humanity, found fertile ground in the hearts of these women, and through them, flourished in their descendants. As communities grew and spread, the daughter's legacy manifested itself in different ways. In some tribes, they became spiritual leaders, guardians of the secrets of life and death. In others, their knowledge of the land and its gifts transformed them into wise advisors, guiding decisions crucial to the survival of the group. The impact of this population growth, nurtured and guided by Eve's daughters, has reverberated through the millennia. The seeds planted by these primordial women germinated into entire civilizations. Their stories, although rarely recorded, were echoed in the legends and myths that each culture would develop, celebrating feminine strength and wisdom. The connection with future generations like Noah's is a testimony to the continuity of this legacy. The faith and righteousness that allowed Noah to hear and obey the divine voice were cultivated over generations, 
nurtured by the gentle hands and steadfast hearts of the daughters who preceded him. His ark was not just a refuge for animals, but a receptacle for the accumulated wisdom of countless mothers and grandmothers. The legacy of the daughters of Adam and Eve transcends the tangible. It lies in the resilience that allows humanity to face seemingly insurmountable challenges, in the ability to love and create even in the face of adversity. Every act of kindness, every gesture of sacrifice for others, every moment of communion between human beings carries with it the echo of the first daughters. So although their names may have been lost in the dust of time, the legacy of Adam and Eve's daughters lives on. It beats in the heart of every human being, a silent reminder of our origins and a beacon of hope for our future. His true monument is not made of stone or metal, but of the countless lives that were and continue to be shaped by his eternal example. The challenges daughters face. The world that Adam and Eve's daughters faced was vastly different from the Eden their parents had known. The land, once generous, now required sweat and tears to produce its sustenance. Hard work has become an everyday reality, with women playing crucial roles in the survival of their families and communities. The physical challenges were immense. The daughters' bodies, created for paradise perfection, now faced pain, illness and the wear and tear of time. Childbirth, which should be an experience of pure joy, has become an act of courage, often accompanied by the specter of death. Each pregnancy was a perilous journey, each birth a battle for life. Emotionally, the daughters carried a heavy burden. The memory of Eden, transmitted through their parents' stories, contrasted painfully with the reality that surrounded them. The nostalgia for a lost home, for a perfection they would never know, colored their days with a subtle melancholy. The challenge of finding joy and purpose in a fallen world constantly tested her emotional resilience. Spiritually, they found themselves in the intimacy with the Creator that Adam and Eve had experienced now seemed distant and hazy. The daughters struggled to keep the flame of faith alive in a world that seemed increasingly ruled by chaos and darkness. Every moral choice, every ethical decision, became a battlefield where the soft voice of conscience competed with the cries of the fallen world. Sin, that corrosive force that had caused their expulsion from Eden, was a constant presence in their lives. Eve's daughters found themselves struggling not only with external temptations, but also with the inclinations of their own hearts. Envy, anger, pride, all facets of fallen human nature, required constant vigilance and fierce self-discipline. As the world distanced itself from God, the daughters faced the challenge of keeping alive the teachings and values they had received. They became the keepers of memory, the keepers of tradition in a rapidly changing world. His role was crucial, to preserve the spark of the divine in a humanity that seemed increasingly prone to being lost in darkness. Along with their brothers, the daughters of Adam and Eve had to learn to navigate a world of ambiguous morality. Choices were not always clear, and the consequences of their actions often extended beyond their immediate understanding. Each decision carried the weight of responsibility not only for their own lives, but for the future of humanity. Despite all these challenges, or perhaps because of them, the daughters of Adam and Eve demonstrated extraordinary strength. They faced adversity with grace and determination, turning obstacles into opportunities for growth. His legacy of resilience, compassion, and unwavering faith has continued to inspire generations, shaping the course of human history in ways that surpass our understanding. Cultural and social impact history of the daughters of Adam and Eve. The daughters of Adam and Eve, although little mentioned in scripture, left an indelible mark on the history of humanity. Their cultural and social impact was profound and lasting, shaping early human societies in ways that still resonate today. At the dawn of human existence, these women faced unique challenges. Not only did they have to learn to survive in a wild and unknown world, but they were also responsible for establishing the first family and social bonds beyond the original nucleus. Their actions and decisions formed the foundations of the first social structures, defining roles and responsibilities that would echo through generations. The influence of these early women extended far beyond their own time. As the first mothers, educators and caregivers in history, they were fundamental in the transmission of knowledge and values. 
the creation stories, the knowledge of plants and animals, the first expressions of art and music, all of these had their origins in the experiences and wisdom of the daughters of Adam and Eve. The legacy of these women can be seen in the family and social structures that persist to this day. The importance of the maternal role, the concept of family lineage, and many of the moral and ethical values that permeate diverse cultures can be traced back to these first women. Its impact transcended geographic and temporal boundaries, influencing distant civilizations and diverse cultures. The daughters of Adam and Eve laid the foundation for the development of the first human communities, creating a sense of belonging and collective identity that would be crucial to the survival and prog. Their resilience and adaptability in the face of an unfamiliar and often hostile world served as a model for future generations, inspiring humanity to persevere and thrive in the face of adversity. Archaeology and Historical Evidence History of the Daughters of Adam and Eve The search for archaeological and historical evidence of Adam and Eve's daughters has been a fascinating challenge for scientists and historians. Although there are no direct records of their existence, researchers have found intriguing clues that shed light on the lives of humanity's first women. Excavations at prehistoric sites have revealed a variety of artifacts that offer glimpses into the daily lives of these early women. Primitive jewelry, such as shell necklaces and animal teeth, suggests not only aesthetic concerns, but also possible social distinctions. Household utensils, such as scrapers and bone needles, indicate the development. Cave paintings discovered in caves around the world provide visual evidence of early human artistic expression. Many of these paintings depict female figures, often in contexts that suggest important roles in hunting, gathering and rituals. These representations offer valuable insights into the status and roles of women in primitive societies. Recent advances in mitochondrial DNA analysis have allowed scientists to trace maternal lineages to a common ancestor, popularly called mitochondrial Ev. Although this figure is not literally the biblical Eve, the concept corroborates the idea of a common origin for all humanity, aligning with the narrative of the daughters of Adam and Eve as progenitors of the human race. Discoveries at Neolithic sites have revealed evidence of division of labor and social roles since the dawn of humanity. Specialized tools and burial patterns suggest a complex society where women played crucial roles in agriculture, weaving, and other essential activities. Anthropological studies of contemporary indigenous societies also provide insights into how early human communities may have functioned. Many of these societies maintain oral traditions that echo themes from the biblical narrative, including stories of creation and the fundamental role of women in the survival and prosperity of the community. While this evidence does not directly prove the existence of the biblical daughters of Adam and Eve, it does offer a fascinating insight into the lives of each archaeological discovery and advancement in genetic research brings us a little closer to understanding our origins and the crucial role women have played since the beginning of human history. The daughters of Adam and Eve, although often relegated to the margins of the biblical narrative, emerge as figures of central importance in the history of salvation and human development. Their role as mothers, educators and pillars of primitive society was fundamental to the expansion and survival of Thai. These women represent the vital link between the first humans and subsequent generations, ensuring not only the biological continuity of the species, but also the transmission of essential knowledge and fundamental values. Their resilience and adaptability in the face of an unfamiliar and often hostile world laid the foundation for the flourishing of human civilization. The importance of Adam and Eve's daughters extends beyond their biological role. They were the first to face the challenges of raising a family and community in a new world. Their experiences and accumulated wisdom formed the basis of traditions, beliefs, and practices that would shape human cultures for millennia. By recognizing the importance of these women, we gain a deeper understanding of our origins and the divine plan for humanity. Her story reminds us that each individual, regardless of gender or social status, has a crucial role to play in the grand tapestry of human history. 
The daughters of Adam and Eve symbolize the strength and resilience of the human spirit. They faced the unknown with courage, adapted to changing circumstances, and laid the foundation for humanity's progress. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence, reminding us of the importance of valuing and respecting the role of women in all spheres of Ellie. And don't forget to grab your digital book, Aging with Faith, 20 Lessons to Overcome Challenges and Live with Purpose in Christ. It's very important that you get it right now before the copies run out. Ultimately, the story of Adam and Eve's daughters is a story of hope, perseverance, and the transformative power of love and community. They teach us that, even in the face of the greatest challenges, humanity has the capacity to prosper and create a better future for future generations. The daughters of Adam and Eve were fundamental to the multiplication of humanity and the preservation of divine teachings. Although little mentioned, their role in the growth of the first human societies is undeniable. They bore the burden of a world marked by sin, and yet they helped shape the future of humanity, fulfilling God's plan for creation. As we reflect on their stories, we are reminded of our responsibility to continue this mission of faith, hope, and growth. To learn more, I'll leave a suggested video here about the Tower of Babel. As we reflect on the role of these women in the story of creation, we are invited to consider our own part in the divine plan. Each of us, just like the daughters of Adam and Eve, has the opportunity to leave a positive legacy, contributing to the well-being and progress of humanity as a whole.